Melissa Francis with Melissa Francis and I'm always asked, how do you decorate the resin? Our resin pieces, you know, they come like this. You can always sometimes do them in different directions. They're, vi they're white. Sometimes they have a little bit of black. People ask why the black is on there because the ones, people that like the shabby sheet kind of like the white with the black. Also, sometimes the black is accents when you're using your Copic markers, which I'm going to use or show you in just a second. Um, if you don't like any of the black, you can simply just paint these um, white and then start from there. But I'm just going to show you right here. This is um, our wreath. And uh, what you can do to do your Copic markers is you just go in and you just pick the area that you like. Like this is kind of the rose, so we'll just go over it with the pink. And then this one right here, we just go over it with the yellow. You can see how pretty it is. And then the green, we just went over with the green like this. But I just want to show you this one right here. You can see it's much more punched up and more predominant. That one is with the Copic markers without using the zero. And this is the zero right here. A lot of people um, call, this, um, call it a blending tool, but really more, I like to think of it more as an eraser. Because what you can do is you can go on and you can actually fade out the color. So it'll actually take the color off. As you can see, it's coming off. And then also, whenever you switch between colors, you want to always make sure, because you'll see in the end of your tip here, that you're getting a bit of pink. So before I go to the green, I want to make sure that I get the pink off of my pen, and then I'll come and take the fade out on the, on the green. You can see how it fades it. So you can take the Copic markers, and you can go really bright, or you can take them and you can uh, apply them and then use the zero and erase them and get more of a shabby chic look. I'm Melissa Francis with Scrapbook Expo's Tip of the Day. Thank you.